Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be talking about the 10 best new launches for summertime at Sephora. This is my list. These are 10 items that I would recommend to anyone. This is not a haul. These are products I've already been testing and I'm excited to share them with you because there is a ton of new new that is so good. There's also a lot that's launched that I'm kind of just like, Maybe we'll do like a little teeny tiny bit of an anti-haul in this as well, but let's get started with my new BFF for summertime for the lips, for the cheeks. None of this is sponsored, by the way. I purchased every single item here myself. I wanna talk about what is new from Huda Beauty. So many of you guys DM'd me when I asked what you wanted to see in action. I was going to Sephora and I'm reading my DMs and so many of you guys were like, the new lip stain, the new lip stain. What is this sucker called? The lip blush. It's a lip blush stain, Tati, try it. And for me, I'm kind of like, oh gosh, like I don't really like lip stains that much. Personally on me, lip stains almost always leave me wanting more and I don't like the formula and they tend to be drying, but this one right here, from Huda Beauty. It smells like a vanilla cupcake. The doe foot applicator is fluffy and pointy. It is the best of both. It just hugs the lips. It applies seamlessly, patch free, not drying, has a nice gel texture. But the thing that I like the most is using it as blush. It goes over top of makeup. You can wear it on bare skin. It applies so beautifully. I would not recommend going boop, boop, boop with the actual applicator go off of a brush, just get a little bit of the color there. Let me be dangerous, okay? This has been on for a while. It's literally, you guys, it's eight o'clock at night and the blush is still blushing. But on top of so much powder, it just, I am shocked. What? Like, it looks, so pretty. I can't even explain exactly why it looks so pretty. It just blends to perfection. They're so good, 25 bucks. There are three shades I have yet to try. The ones I have tried that I love so far are Coral Kiss and Peachy Kiss. Mwah. I'm wearing Peachy Kiss on my mouth right now with a little bit of creme de nude from MAC on top and a tiny bit of a gloss that's probably worn off at this point. That is a nice tip to do. If you wanna skip lip lining altogether, put a stain on, a tiny bit of a highlight in the center and some gloss, and that way if the gloss and the lipstick go away halfway through the day, the stain is still there and it looks so nice. So I am definitely going to be reaching for these a ton. They're beautiful. Also, if you've noticed, there have been little icons popping up right here in the video to signify what I'm talking about. It's a new thing that YouTube is doing. It's actually going straight to Sephora. This is not a sponsored video at all, but I did wanna give you a heads up that everything that's kind of popping up, I think you can click on it and go directly. All right, so the hair is doing it for me. I'm loving my hair today. I have a lot of lift at the root. I use this new Briogeo Destined for Density Caffeine and Biotin Peptide Density Shampoo. This has no harsh sulfates, silicones, or parabens. With color-treated hair, I do try to avoid some of the questionable ingredients, harsher ingredients in shampoos especially. And Rio Gio, you guys know I've loved for a very, very long time. I have used the same shampoo over and over from them, but this was new and I'm so happy that I picked it up. It has a very light scent to it. It reminds me of my high school. It has like this warm, powdery, vanilla, floral kind of a thing. Gosh, it smells good. Oh, I wanna drink it. Oh, I love how things smell and I have to be so careful with perfume, but Rio Gio has never really made me react with sneezing or losing my mind. Um, so I think their fragrance is derived a particular way. I don't know. This is a really great shampoo. Um, I do typically do two washes. This is a thinner consistency. It's not like a full thick gel. So you do have to kind of be careful to not pour too much out at once, but yo, 
I love this and I feel like it gave me really, really nice volume. We're gonna talk a little bum bum cream. I'm breaking all of my own rules as far as fragrance goes with this. This is the Rio Radiance Cream from Sol de Janeiro. This is limited edition and it is heavenly. I love the formula. It leaves just the most beautiful, teeny tiny bit of a sheen on the body without being too greasy or golden, shimmery, glittery. Like it's kind of undetectable, but it just makes the skin look yummy. I love this. The fragrance is so stunning too. James was like, what perfume are you wearing? You never wear perfume anymore. I'm like, it's lotion. It's so good. This has hydrating squalene. It has just kind of the similar feel to the OG one, but I just love this. I love it. Just, you guys, it smells so good. I got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in shade two, and I literally just wanna like dive into this and just like rub it all over my body. I, <laughs> I love this on top of any type of body lotion, body makeup. A lot of you guys are like, what are you using on your body is self tanner, and I do not self tan. I fake it till I make it. I do a little bit of whatever concoction I can come up with. Today, I actually did use the Hard Candy Glow Serum Primer. I mixed it in literally with a little bit of foundation and then a little bit of cream. So I do love taking a moment and putting on some good body makeup and then setting it with some bronzer. But sometimes you need a bigger pan size, especially if you're gonna go on the body. So. I love how ginormo this bronzer is. And then I have my ginormo brush from Scott Barnes and I can literally just get so much covered so quickly. And I will share with you guys that putting on a little bronzer on the body on top of your body makeup is a great way to kind of seal it in. And it's not gonna make things completely transfer proof, but it will help things to have more of a dry finish so you're not bumping into a wall. Or for me, my white couch, which when I do this, I'm just like, maybe it's not a good time to sit down. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice way to set the body the same way you would wanna use powder to set your foundation on your face. I also use this on the face. Bam, 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 bam. I'm wearing it today. The formula is so good. I love this. I love her powder formulation. And this seems like a really great idea for summertime. It comes in four shades. Speaking of powder, I have a new favorite loose setting powder from Laura Mercier that is talc free and it performs so beautifully. And I'm very excited to find something that doesn't contain talc. For me, it can be irritating on the skin. It can clog pores. I just don't like it. If I don't have to have it in my products, I don't want to. How many of you guys have watched the HBO series, Not So Pretty, that I recommended? There's one episode about talc that'll kind of make you rethink everything. And again, I don't want to be extreme and be like, I will never, you know, cause I'm not living that kind of a life, but my eyes were opened. And so now when I'm seeing talc free options, I'm really loving it, especially when they perform like this gorgeous powder right here from Laura Mercier. Oh my gosh, I love how this sets underneath the eye. It is beautiful. I am wearing the shade Translucent. This comes in three shades. It is brand spanking new. Let's just powder a little bit right now because it's been a long day and I'm sure I could use it. It is hot in this room. I am sweating. I am concerned that I have uh, salsa on my face because I just really needed a snack right before filming and literally was like chowing down like deli salsa. And like, of course, like <laughs> somehow missed my mouth and like salsa went down my chin. I was like, great, I'm gonna film now. And I just ruined my makeup. Let's investigate and powder away the potential salsa stain. Anyone else a total clumsy, messy eater? And salsa is like my favorite food, which is so dangerous, all right? Especially if you're wearing a nice outfit. That powder is A++++++. Love it, so good. This is the part of my Sephora adventure when I was like asking you guys, like, what should I buy? What should I buy? And you guys are DMing me and it's so fun. I love interacting with you guys in real time, especially when I'm shopping. And I kind of got the hit list over here and I thought I was done shopping and then just jumped out at me 
at the very last minute on an end cap, this little Sephora Destinations eyeshadow palette. I'm really back into loving purple excessively and I want it on my eyes and it's kind of a thing. And I think it goes with the new like blonde highlights and it's on my nails kind of, I just love it. So I bought this. Um, look at this color story. This color story is phenomenal. The purple metallic in here is next level. I am wearing this on my eyes right now, just all over the place. Kind of my favorite thing to do. If you saw in my most recent drugstore try on video, I did use a purple metallic cream shadow and I love how that looked. So when I saw this, I was like, I gotta try this. This looks like such a great color story. And it just kind of jumped out at me. And I would say the quality on this particular one is better than the other one that I tried in my Sephora versus Ulta video. So if you are a purple lover like me, this one specifically the Destinations eyeshadow palette, oh my gosh, it has my heart. Beautiful, the mattes are really soft and gorgeous. The whole eye look that I have on today is exclusively this guy right here. And it was not very expensive. $15 for this guy. And I feel like it was money well spent. Now we are on to such an exciting launch, you guys. I am so here for this. It smells first off very lightly, has not aggressively made me sneeze, runny nose, none of that. And I've been using it for a minute. This is the Boost 4-in-1 Firming Peptide Finishing Spray from Beauty Blender. This hits such a high note for me. It's such a hybrid product. It has great ingredients. It does feel like it firms the skin, which for me, I'm just like, drench me in it, firm everything up, maybe get some on the body too. I love the packaging, the spray, which you guys know when you see me do inserts, I always do this to show you like what kind of a mist it is. Mm, delightful mist. It smells like a fresh box of nerds. If you know, you know. It just kind of hits you and it has that candy scent to it that's really sweet, but not overpowering. There's something very gentle about it that's very, very pleasant. I really love it. Oh my gosh. And it really does feel so nice on the skin. It refreshes, but I kid you not, it does feel kind of firming, which I don't really know why. Maybe that's just the marketing and it's like in my head, but I feel like it is firming. All right, it sets makeup, it plumps the skin, it blurs the pores and reduces shine. This is my new favorite setting spray. I'm really into it and it is going to have a front center spot on my vanity. We're gonna talk about sunscreen, which I almost never talk about because most sunscreen irritates the crap out of my skin, makes me break out. And then when I find a good mineral sunscreen, it just leaves so much of a white cast on me that it's kind of this tug of war thing of finding a good sunscreen. I do like L to MD sunscreen. That one does work for me, but I am really happy that many of you guys recommended that I try this new one from Kosas. This is a mineral SPF. It has ceramides, peptides, and hyaluronic acid. So this is very skin nourishing and it has a little bit of a tint to it. Now this is not foundation. We're not looking for this to match the skin, but what I like about that tint is it helps it to sink into the skin without that white cast. So don't put this on your hand. If you have darker skin and get too alarmed, like, oh, I need to match it like foundation, you don't. This is just going to help it to melt in like a moisturizer would a little bit easier without that white cast that mineral sunscreens are notorious for. So this one does give you this nice glossy finish. It has not irritated my skin. And I love that it has all of those skin carrying ingredients as well. You guys know I'm outside a lot and I usually have my sun visor on, which is so dorky. And I have to buy a new one because my um, the strap on the side broke. So I'm gonna be like ordering the knockoff version, which is much less expensive than the one I've had for years, but it finally gave. Long story short, I feel like I want an extra layer of protection, especially if I'm gonna be 
addressing any of the sun damage and discoloration. So I'm all about finding a good SPF that I can use on the daily that does not irritate my skin. And this one has been doing such a good job. This is an SPF 40, it's a broad spectrum, and this is called the Dream Beam Comfy Smooth Sunscreen. Say that five times fast. Okay, liners. Urban Decay has brought out a liquid liner with some fun colors. This really beautiful um, handle right here where you can act, it's like an ergonomically correct little tip. Your fingertips do rest here quite easily. So it makes total sense for getting that perfect line or if you're doing any fancy eye art I'm not gonna be doing that, but the ad campaign definitely shows a lot of that. If you walk by and you're like, nah, it's just not for me, maybe put it in reverse for a moment and look at the black, brown, and then this is more of like a gunmetal, I would say. This is the shade Oil Slick. If you like to do a wing line, these are phenomenal. Waterproof, long wearing, vegan, the formula's A+. The little handle right here does make it super easy for you to not like jiggle and shake. Remember we were talking about anchoring and really getting that smoothed out line. The tip of this is perfection. It's not flimsy, but it's not too firm. It's just right. And I think this is a phenomenal formula. You wanna get waterproof for hotter months, which are approaching. And I think this is so nice. This is the 24 seven inks. They do have other fun colors. They come in both matte and shimmer finishes and I'm so here for it. Danessa Myricks came out with a new liner that is incredibly budge proof. It's $18. It's one of the best liners I have ever used. I have been wearing it nonstop. I'm wearing the liner today and it does not move, but you have a moment to lay it down before it gets bunchy and crunchy. It's just such a solid formula that I had to tell you guys about it. Even if you don't do wing liner and you want something just to conceal a lash band or to do just a very thin line just to enhance the eye a little bit, this is a liner that I think everyone would love. If I were still out there doing makeup, I would definitely be using this nonstop because it feels very pro and the intensity of the black is just like, whew. I mean, this is next to the Urban Decay, which is more of a gunmetal, but this rich black, I'm trying to think if I have owned a more rich, sharpie black liner, maybe Tom Ford, which is much more expensive, but this is stunning. I keep using it over and over and over to the point where I'm like, I'm gonna need backups because this is it. It is so nice. If you want something that has more shimmer, fun colors, then go for the Urban Decay. But if you just want straight black liner, you are a black wing kind of a girl, 18 bucks, really great, solid, solid formula. Okay, quickly, I'm gonna rapid fire a few things that I didn't get to purchase that I want to and some things that just, I'm like, no, I don't think so. I really do wanna try the new Natasha Denona concealer that is on my list. The Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying and Blurring Spray. I don't know if it was just the one in the store, but the spritzer on it was not doing it for me. It was literally like kind of squirting out and I'm like, absolutely cannot do that. That will mess up your makeup. It might've just been the tester, but also in my head, I'm like, ooh, that means that it's gonna dry down and get sticky over that nozzle really easily. And then you're gonna have that one day where it just like flies out sideways and ruins your makeup. Let me know if you guys have tried that one or not, because I was curious about it. I passed on the new Melt Cosmetics Electrip Eyeshadow Palette. I did see that, but it just didn't wow me enough. I am curious about the new Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color. I will say that it is on my list. I really wanna try the Hourglass Voyeur Eye Stick. I didn't see them in my store, but they do look really beautiful. Oh man, this looks nice. HD Twist and Light 24 Hour Luminous Finishing Powder from Makeup Forever. That's definitely something I'm gonna order. Actually, there's more stuff I wanna try than not try. It's more skincare right now that kind of makes me go, eh. There's a lot of good new launches. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna leave it there and you let me know what you wanna see in action. Let me know what is dropping right now that is new and fresh that you want me to try out. I love hearing from you guys. I read every comment myself. A lot of you guys right now are, I don't know, so perplexed by that. You're like, you're the one responding. I'm like, yes. I specifically set a couple of hours aside every time I upload to hear from you guys and respond. And I've been loving connecting with you. So. 
keep your comments coming. I read them all. I see them all. I love you guys. Go and have a good one, whatever you are doing. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss my future uploads. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.